welcome to a new episode of GitHub Copilot. And today's episode, we will look on the bug fix. Developers deals with uh, various kinds of bugs. The bugs coming out of the unit test, a modular level, or a logical bugs by the execution of a functional test case, or the bugs related to any of the NFRs, like a performance or the security violations, or an accessibility bug fix, or a UX theme related, or the font or the branding images, color combinations are not meeting. So there are a wide spectrum of bugs fixing is required by the developers. So today we will look on a small area, how we can deal with a bugs arrest out of the unit testing. Some of the areas, as smaller patterns, Copilot is able to help you. So the wider areas. So as a developer, you don't need to worry about small areas where Copilot will try to help you. But in a wider or deeper logical implementation, as a human, you may need to interfere and take the decisions. So let us look on some small examples of how Copilot can be used in a bug fix scenario. Start from a small method for adding two numbers. So this comes from one of my demo to a user who asked me to change the plus to minus and see whether Copilot is able to identify this one. So the entire logic is changed, but the name of the method and the comment is uh, as it is. So let us see if Copilot is able to identify this issue based on the context. Context here is the, the prompt as well as the name of the function is the context I am passing based on that whether Copilot is able to identify issue. What is the issue with my method? So blindly I'm asking the Copilot, there is some issue, let me know what exactly it's. Uh, so it's identified based on the name of the method. It's an add method, but it's returning the difference between A and B instead of the sum. How to fix it? Let me see how, yes, it's able to return that one. Now let us change a little bit. I change the name as Normally we deal with sometimes we won't use a proper meaningful name. We will use a method one or something and I'm not having a comment in the context. So I'm giving this one and asking the copilot, what is the issue with my method? So it's again because of this uh, and their communication aspect or the kind of uh, discussion we had, it's able to identify it, but I'm going to give here method one, A and B, or I just changed it for ensuring that Copilot is seeing this code first time as my expectation is the sum, but the, I have given it a difference. Now I am asking, Copilot, what's the issue with my code? So it's again because of sum, it's giving this one. Let me just make it multiplication and see whether it's able to identify what's the issue with my code. So it's a returning x and y instead of sum. For example, this method I read, uh, written for the subtraction angle. Then because of the previous context, it's saying it should return sum because method one is not giving any contextual aspect. But now let me add the context to this one. Uh, find the difference between two numbers. This is what I needed and I have given something else. Now let me ask Copilot, what's the issue with my code? 
returning the product instead of difference. Here I have this context. Because of that, it's identified that the functional expectation from this method is difference instead of a product. So if you pass a proper context in terms of the prompt or the method names or any of the uh, variable names aspect, Copilot is trying to identify the pattern and return the proper result for you. So you can try it out. This is a simple example. In another aspect is normally we go with uh, unit testing. So let us see how a unit testing bug can be identified. So I have a bunch of unit testing here, testing palindrome and a prime numbers. And uh, there are two methods, is prime and is palindrome. These are two methods I have here in this verifier class. And let me go ahead and execute the test. So a bunch of test cases are going to be executed. And let me see whether I am able to fix the issue. So if you notice that there is one test case is failed for palindrome. So one is passed, one is failed. Most of the developers face this kind of issues. We execute a set of test cases, but some of them are passed, some are failed. So identifying why it is failed, it required deep understanding on the logic implemented in the code. If the logic is written by someone else, then it's very difficult for the developers to go line by line and understand what exactly went wrong. So this is what it's failed. So I'm going to ask Copilot how he can help here. So I'm asking why this test method failed for input madam one and expected output as false. I'm expecting a false, but it's written true. So Copilot is checking. It's specified is prime method is returning true for the input this one, which is not a palindrome. Expected output is false, but it's not able to identify what may be the issue within is prime is palindrome. So let us go to is palindrome, select this one, and ask the copilot the same kind of is why this method returns true for an input of madam one, that is the input expected output. Even you don't need to specify expected output. Let us see what it's going to write. Cool. It's, it's written Madam Man because there is a mistake in the code. It's able to identify there is a mistake in the code. The else block of the statement is also returning true. So I have a true two times instead of a false. So it's corrected the code here. It's a return true and here the false. So let me just go ahead and replace my code. Done. So that's the unit test angle. This one is now, let me execute it. After saving, go ahead and execute is palindrome negative. It's going to execute successfully. Now it is passed. Now there are two more issues. If you look at here, three and expected is one. These two are failed. Two more test cases are failed for the prime number execution. So in a prime number, Three, I expected one, seven expected one, but it's failed. So the same approach I am taking, this is my prime number aspects, and I'm going to ask Copilot why this method returns zero for an input value of seven. 
So it's written zero, that's why it's failed. You can see that one here, in the failed test case angle, expected is one. So Copilot is going to give me the reason. Again, it's identified there is a mistake in the code. The return statement inside the for loop returning one instead of zero when the number is divisible by an odd number. So there is a change here also. It's returning one. Here it's supposed to return zero and return one here. That is what I need it. When it is prime, not prime, return zero. When it is prime, return one. So it's reversed the return statements here. So Copilot is try to fix it. So let me replace this code entirely with the Copilot suggestion. So go ahead and replace it. Save this one, go to my text execution and run all the methods. Let me run everything and see whether my test cases will be executing successfully and the fix suggested by Copilot is of help. As you can observe that it's executed successfully and the Copilot is able to identify some of the logical issues in the code based on the input and output. So most of the cases, the unit testing is targeting one of the method with a set of input and expected output. So you will be able to take the help of Copilot to identify what may be the issue or what condition went wrong inside the implementation which triggered the failure of a particular unit test. And this approach may not work for us some complex implementations, but you will be able to take the help of Copilot for all your simple test case failures and fix the bugs very quickly. And uh, you can concentrate your time or spend your time for fixing more complex human interaction record areas. Thank you.